Good morning, peeps. How y'all doing this morning? Yeah. It's one it's it's, it's one of those type of mornings, y'all. So yeah. I just turned the camera on because I'm gonna go in my room and look at my bookcase. I'm oily. I'm top of my head and my face. Bring my uh black uh headband. Let's be having my phone on my bookcase. That was an oil on my face, y'all. It was extra, extra, extra dry. Um and can you bring me a brush, please? Thank you. I'm oiling my hair, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, it's Thursday. It's very, very Thursday. So, I'm like, I'm oiling it for my homemade oil. Yeah. Yeah, y'all want to know what's in here? Olive oil. I filled it all the way up to here with olive oil, y'all. Yeah. Thank you, sweetie. Really appreciate it. You ready for your test? Well, you need to get the other page, page 67. It's like that one here. And so, um, I got all of, I just, I got a lot of essential oil, so I know my main carrier oil is olive oil. I really, really would prefer castor oil, but Mm. olive oil is just always around you know you could cook with that you do a lot of stuff with olive oil so yeah this olive oil and I think I put some rosemary essential oil in it and oh I got a pain in my side and um I just be dropping stuff in here I think a little tea tree oil in here Cause I do, I just add different oils every, different, you know, different every time. I just, it's always something different. I'm like, oh, um, I want to put this in here this time. But I know I always put rosemary in now, cause that's good for your hair. Uh, um, and I got this tamanuku. What's what is it called, Shan? Tamamunu oil. I got from the beauty supply store. It smells real good. Yeah, and I just pull pull that in here too. But I think I only got like two, two, I, I think olive oil and two essential oils and that's tamanuku oil. I think I had showed that tamanuku oil before in the video. Yeah, and I got some macadamia oil. I haven't started on that yet. I'm going to use all the tamanuku oil up. I might show it to y'all before I finish this video. Yeah, my hair is extra dry, y'all. It's Allegra. She got on that sleek cap and it got washed. Kyra washed it for me yesterday. <laughs> and me and my sleek cap, y'all, we 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 here. We got a relationship. I gotta take care of this sleek cap. Y'all know how it is. So you threw she in? No. Um, it snowed yesterday, y'all. I'm looking in my video cam. Just trying to make. I know I'm extra shiny. But I put a lot on so it can last me kind of. Because my face going to suck this oil up. I just put this oil on. 
So maybe about 11, 11, it'll have been unsoaked into my skin. And it kind of lasts me throughout. It, it, it started getting dry a little bit at the end of the day. But I don't want to put no more oil on because I'm like, I'm good. It's almost time to go to bed now. So, yeah, my homemade oil. Uh, it's coconut oil, just regular cooking coconut oil, and uh, cocoa butter. You know, cocoa butter is supposed to be good for your skin marks and stuff. Cause that little bump right there left a little. I be having marks all over my face for my period bumps cause I picks at them. I know I shouldn't do that, but they are annoying. Okay, y'all, let me take y'all outside. Let me take y'all outside, people. Yeah, it's cold yesterday. It was cold. Y'all wanna see how snow? It's cold. It's cold, y'all. Man. I don't know what the temperature is supposed to be today. But I know it's cold. Focus. Focus. Come on. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, and I'm going to show y'all, I did my scripture yesterday. Huh, you need to get it, you can get it. I did my scripture yesterday, I wrote it Sunday, scripture number two. No weapon that is formed against me and my family shall prosper every tongue that shall rise up against me and my family in judgment that shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness of me, saith the Lord. Amen. So, yeah, I went through the house. I went through the house yesterday. Top to bottom, basement. Oh, I got to cut the light back off. Light bill, people. Light bill. You have to get on the hubby about leaving the lights on. I'm like, look now. Look, we got gas bill because we got to burn this heat. We could at least try to minimize this uh light bill. So, yeah, I went through the house yesterday. Um, top to bottom. Saying, that look blue. I have a blue one, too, but it could be black. That headband. Yeah. Excuse me, y'all. I be having to wipe my nose because it, 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 my nose run all year round. But I have certain times of the month and seasons where it just run like water. Like you cut on a water faucet and it just... And that wouldn't be pretty me sitting up here making this video and... Mm-mm. <laughs> no, just the thought. Ooh. Yeah, so, uh, yep, that's what I did yesterday, today, Tuesday, ain't doing nothing, it's my week to cook, y'all, it's gonna be a short video, I just be making videos to show my face, and say hey to my peeps, I was just sitting here, get ready to watch my vlogs, all y'all wanna say, see the kiddos? Yeah. Yeah, say hey to the peeps, Rain. Hi. Can you look at them and say hi? Hi. She's taking a uh, math test on calculating interest, which I feel like we shouldn't have interest on nothing. You want to say hey to the peeps, Shane? Hi. What you doing? My definitions. She doing her definitions for her spelling words. And she over here multitasking, doing her book report stuff. I just her book. That light glare, crazy horse. The war chief. Uh, mm hmm Yep. <laughs> I got. I got to do Shan hair tonight, y'all. 
I know I'm doing Monday night. But I ain't feel like she ain't yeah, right, Miss. Then we wiped it off. But this is baked chicken, rice, stir fry, and garlic bread. So, this is my week. And this is the message for the week. Father, we thank you for the food we eat. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we get a thank you, Jesus? Y'all want some more word? Uh, well, Georgie, he put encouraging scripture. Okay, Romans. He wrote his, son wrote his, Monday, yesterday. Okay, it's hard for me to read this with, it's, but it said, be not, it say it be not conformed to this world, but be ye changed for the better renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That's one of my favorite scriptures, Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world. And we know that's a hard thing to do. But it takes discipline. I think as long as you keep living, you're going to always be have to practice discipline. Trying to obey that scripture. Because it's hard, people. Hard. Be not conformed to this world without a renewing of your mind. Can I get a hallelujah? Can the people say amen? Uh, Romans is a good book to read. Uh, but I always say start from the beginning. Uh, Genesis, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I messed up my hair. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, Nano, I think that's about it. Ain't nothing else happening. Yep. Kyra going to school. She started class yesterday. Son going to school. Hubby gone. So it's just me and the girls. And I'm drinking on me some cranberry juice. Yep. I think that's about it. And now I'm going to go ahead and braid papers. And, um... Uh, why well, got oil on your paper ring? And make it um continue to watch me some vlogs, y'all. So on that note, I hope everybody have a blast. I'm gonna put this video up tomorrow, which is be uh Wednesday. I hope everybody have oh I got a pain going through my side. It's gas. I already know. Get <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna even trip about the gas because my period and I finally passed. But uh yeah. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. But I hope everybody have a blessed Wednesday, a safe Wednesday, and a productive Wednesday. And um I mean blessed is just by, you know. What I mean by when I say have a blessed Wednesday. I mean, just enjoy your day. Be happy. Look for God because every day he's there. Even if you feel like you're having a bad day. But trust me, it's some good there. You just got to seek it out. And, um, so you won't be walking around. I mean, I don't like, I'm not, I don't like the spirit of uh, depression. What's that? Oh, my fault. I don't like the spirit of depression or, I mean, People that have that like that downcast spirit all the time. I know it happens sometimes, but not all the time. I just don't like negative spirits either. So I understand we have issues in our life. Ain't no wrong with getting that out, having our rant about it, but move on from it. Not get stuck there and everything. But we only got one life to live. I used to watch that soap opera by the way back in the day. <laughs> and I mean, you don't want to live it stressed out every day depressed every day 
being negative about life every day. You know, God says not not His will that we should suffer, but have life and have it more abundantly. We're gonna have troubles in the world called sin, you know. But I think when you figure it out, you can make the best of this life while you're here and everything. Uh um, and life is life, you know. I I I think I would say bad things happen, but I just think things happen, you know, like. I mean, God, he says how he look low. He already know our beginning and our end, in the middle. So I feel like if he allowing it to happen to us, it's happening to us for a reason. He knows us better than we know ourselves. It might be to strengthen us in the area. He just know. He made us up. So I feel like even in the midst of a real bad situation or a very low situation, it's necessary and but it's not to get stuck there it's to say lord what is you trying to tell me you know you you allow this to happen in my life for a reason and what is that reason that's what i learned i have to learn how to ask that question because they was just happening you i don't care you, it, it's just gonna happen so i'm like well i need to get on the same page with god then like why what you want me to learn it's uh, he always trying to teach us develop us grow us strengthen us because it's d what we're going through now what he have in store for us is way bigger than this we being tested you know and that's just what it is life is a test so yeah so that's why all that come in like have a blessed day safe just be safe out here just it ain't i mean if something gonna happen to you it's gonna happen because <laughs> that's just life you know i mean that's god that's a god thing but just do your part just take your precautions don't put yourself in a bad situation try to make best decisions wise decisions just think before you act that's all I'm saying, <laughs> you know, and, and, and this, this, that's all you can do. The rest is up to God anyway, because you can slip and fall down a step, you know what I'm saying? Things happen, <laughs> but yeah, and then productive, I just feel like it's a blessing to wake up with both your eyes, just all your body parts functioning, body organs and everything, having your arm, leg. Don't take advantage of that. I mean, don't take that for granted. You know, it's a blessing to have those things and stuff. So I feel like make use of everything that God has blessed you with. Because it is a blessing to have eyes to see, ears to hear. I mean, it sounds touche. You know, I used to hear it in church all the time. But as I'm getting older, I really, really understand that. To be able to just walk on your own two feet, not be in a wheelchair, not to have nobody dress you up, and don't have to have nobody to feed you, not waiting on a, a, a kidney transplant or some kind of organ donor, you know. So, we, I think sometimes we get busy with life that we forget about. The little things that God is keeping us with until we don't have it anymore until stuff, some start happening to those things, you know. So, yeah, I just believe in making the best of my day, making the most of my day, you know. Like, I'm even though I'm at home, I God has we are a chef over whatever He has given us, whether it's kids, your marriage, your home. Be a good shepherd, that's all. It's just like put nourishment into your children put nourishment into your marriage y'all work on your marriage y'all pray on your marriage and then y'all come together and figure it out you know because I believe every marriage can work I mean we just got to get on the same accord here and spiritually and everything and uh, something else I had want to say with that and like even with your home even if you are uh, uh, at home all the time I'm, I, I believe in taking care of my home, keeping it clean. I just have to, I like my house clean. I like it to smell good. I like order. I mean, as a young girl, my mama raised me like that. But as I got older, it's like a habit now. It's just part of my daily life, you know, cleaning and um, just taking care of what God has given me and everything. I mean, the things that I clean is crazy, but it makes me feel good. <laughs>
<laughs> I dust off my colognes. Yes. I wash off my washing machine and dryer. Yes. I just like my stuff clean. I mean, when I bought it, it was clean. So I be want, when I looked at it, I was like, ooh. So when it's clean, it can still stay clean even though it's getting old. It still can look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting old, but I'm still trying to keep it together, y'all. So that's how I feel about life. And um, and I think you found yourself being able to like really have that joy that the Bible speak of. And people be wondering why there's so much craziness going out in the world and you still can smile and you still got positive out yeah, you still have a positive outlook on life. It's because um you decided to wake up and just be thankful and grateful for your life, for your day. For your ass, your arms, your legs, your marriage, you know. You nurtures your marriage. You structures your marriage. <laughs> Don't can nobody else do that but you. So I've been married almost 20. This year will be 20. Oh my God. 92. 16. 24 years. Wow, y'all. Just... Whoa. 24 years, I'm thinking. It wasn't easy, but I had to figure it out, you know, because I love my husband. I know I wanted to be married, but he got his own personality. I have my own personality. Opposites attract, and we are opposite of like a lot of like 99.9% of everything. <laughs> but. You know, what God put together, can't no man, don't don't let no man put a sign to figure your marriage out. And different things work for different marriages, you know, but I found out the main key, what God had to reveal to me, submission was one of them because I was living my independent life before he came with four children. And, um... I mean, independent was a big thing. And then having kids before him, that became a big thing in the marriage. I had to get that together. I had to let God direct me with that. That was really, really hard to let him be the man that God, you know, just let him be the man God placed over my kids. <laughs> I mean, you know. So I had to learn that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know and everything so now I got it and I pick my battles with him a lot of stuff I'm like whatever you know but we did the arguing we did the put out I don't call the police on him I did it all y'all done been through it <laughs> arguments on top of arguments oh my god hanging the phone up on him like a million times been there done that man Cried a lot of tears, hurt my feelings. I might hurt his too, but still, I'm a weaker vessel. Love me like Christ loved dirt. <laughs> uh, anyway, he had to grow as well, definitely, definitely. And, he, and we both still growing. So we got to God call us home or whatever when I journey in on this life to continue to grow together and get. And I think now we more in sync with each other now. He know. I know, I know when I hear that, and he know when he see that, like, bag up, leave it alone, let it go, you know. So, we there, and everything, and my prayer that everybody get there, not just in a marriage, but then within yourself, you know, find peace within yourself, you know, so. I mean, this video could be extra, extra long, like my face was extra, extra dry, but... Just throw out a little something for y'all. So, on that note, y'all, I'm out. Once I get the talking, once I get the feeling it, man, I go on and 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 on. Y'all laughing at me? Yeah. Got to keep the hand placed, y'all. Well, actually, I might put my hair back in these coochies when I get through making this video. I don't know. It's okay. It's breathing. Maybe let the the oil kind of flow through it or whatever. This still my blowout from what Kyra did. It, it's kind of like going back into its little natural state a little bit. 
but it's working. And on that note, people, peace and love. Share some. A share a hug. Share a compliment. You'll be surprised at how much a compliment could really lift up somebody. I mean, make their day. Make them feel good on inside. You know, so I'm one of those persons I try when I go out there amongst the people. I'll be like, I, I'm not really talkative around people like that, but God have a tendency to bring people into my life. And uh, I always try to say things to try to build them up, make them feel good. Even if it's, I mean, when you cross my path, that's what I want to be about. I want you to know me as, man, that's that lady right there. She told me, my hair looked nice. She told me this. She said, ooh, that was a nice coat. I don't care about compliment because I like nice things, anything. Anyway, and then I understand the struggle. You know, I love my people, y'all. <laughs> All right. See y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.